Well, howdy folks, and welcome to another episode of Real Country with Jeff and Mel. Today I'm planting some tomatoes out here in the garden. Uh, we're planting Roma tomatoes today. I raised these from seed in these little peat pots, and uh, we're going to try a method I've been using for the last couple of years. We found this one on YouTube. Uh, I believe we were watching Mr. Tim Farmer's Country Kitchen. He does some cooking and does some old timey country things. And this is a method we've tried now for several years and we really enjoy it. It works good and makes it easy to pick and easy to support your tomatoes. Uh, to start off with, you just take a five gallon bucket and drill you four holes in the sides, a couple of holes in the bottom to little small ones, just enough to let the water weep out. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna plant a tomato in front of every hole that you drill. And then you're gonna put some rabbit manure, or whatever you got, compost tea, fill it up with water, and all day long it's gonna slowly seep out. And it'll help keep the plants irrigated, give them uh, the nutrients they're gonna need and the fertilizer. And we average around six, seven foot tall tomatoes that make fruit all season long. So, like I said, we're going to show you how we do it. <coughs> There's our bucket. I've already got the holes drilled. And like I said, these are some little Roma's tomatoes. These are going to be for a uh, sauce type tomato, sauce or paste. And you just dig a little hole and set your tomato down. Fill it in. Lightly pack it. I want enough to hold it steady, but try not to crush the plant. Don't want to pack it too tight. And I'm ready for some tomatoes this year. I'm going to try to plant a bunch of cherries like this tomorrow. I've got a tray of them ready to go. And I've got to set out some and start the seeds for my beef steak. That's the ones I look forward to never letting them get ripe. We have a running battle all season long. My wife wants some pretty red to put on a BLT. And I want them green, sliced thin, and fried. I dearly grow, love my tomatoes and I grow them strictly for fried green tomatoes. That and a little bit for the salads. And quick as I get them in the ground, I'll show you a little close up, better view. How y'all like my rose bush? I'll explain about that in just a minute too. Oh, let me get some of these big old pretty ones. And these, this is our first time doing this. I bought the little Jiffy peat pot container and put one seed per little peat pot, kept them wet, and they have come up pretty. Now, slide this out of the way. I've got my four tomatoes planted. Ow. After I'm done, I'll fill this up. But for right now, excuse my kneecaps. I took some fence wire and rolled it. Made me my own homemade tomato cages just like Mr. Tim showed. And that way, with these big fence holes, you can reach in and get your tomatoes without having a problem to pick them. Now for the loud part of our show. I'm gonna drive my T-post, so y'all bear with me a second. We're gonna make a little noise.
Now, anytime you buy your T post, like your tractor supply, normally every time you buy a post, they'll give you enough of these little clips. Uh, let me scoot through and make sure we can see what we're talking about. Yeah, there's ugly old me. <laughs> but uh, these little clips, they come with them. You just simply wrap it around the T-post like I've done right here. And then you just twist them down. Real simple. Here's a little quick demonstration. Just hook it around. Uh-oh, excuse me. Hold on. Hard to work, hold a camera and talk. Uh-oh, drop one. But basically folks, you're just gonna take the little clip, you're gonna hook it around the fence, it's gonna hook around the T, and if I can do it without dropping my pliers here, you're just gonna bend it, it's very easy to bend. Bend it around, then grab your pliers, and just roll it around. Right now, I, I usually put two, one at the top, one toward the bottom, like right here on this one. You don't need it for right now because there's no weight. But like I said, as the season goes on, these tomatoes will get to the top of this, this wire. And that's roughly about four foot. And as the season goes on, they have been known to get five, six foot tall and that helps support the plant and like i said you just everywhere you put a little wheat pole you plant your little tomato one all the way around so at each one of my cages here i've got four tomatoes planted and right now we just starting so they look penny but as i water they're gonna jump and like I said, I try to come out here first thing in the morning and I fill my buckets up and it takes all afternoon in this hot Alabama heat. And right here's our before as we just getting started. And I'm gonna have another row of them. I'm gonna do right here of the, hopefully the same brand, as many of them as I got till I run out of the Romas, then I'm gonna pick up and start doing my cherries. And if they do like they've been doing, like I said, about 50, 60 days, these things will get up about five, six foot tall and we'll have some beautiful fresh tomatoes to pick. And getting back to my rose bushes, on other TV shows I've seen in my life from Home and Garden Network and traveling around, uh, we have a local botanical center that used to have a big vegetable garden not far from where we live, within about an hour's ride. And we'd go over there every year and enjoy the pretty flowers. And inside their big vegetable garden, at the ends of every rose, they had all kind of rose bushes, sunflowers, uh, zinnias, marigolds, uh, and it was to help with the pollination. The flowers attracted the bees, and the bees helped to pollinate the vegetables. And it just worked together. So we came home and set out this, this knockout rose. Now it's starting to look a little rough now, but this thing's been out here, oh my goodness, somewhere between 10, 15 years or longer than that. Uh, like I said, I believe we've been out here about 16 years, and I want to say we planted it right after we got the place. And as the season goes on, I'm going to be planting sunflowers around the garden. We're going to have flowers out here. Right now we have some wild honeysuckle over here, but I'm fixing to start clearing some of that back. But it will help with the pollination. And as time goes on, I hope to get us some beehives, at least one or two, to the same reason, to help the bees, to help pollinate. And we love and enjoy fresh local honey, and I'd like to have my own fresh local honey. So as time goes on, you know, like everything else, we're adding on, we're expanding. But folks, like I said, as you can see, I've got a few more of these Roma 
tomatoes to plant. And then, let me run over here and show you real quick. And I use the term run loosely. My big clod hoppers is tired this afternoon. I don't feel much like running. But uh, what I don't get done today, I'll definitely try to do tomorrow. I've got a whole flat of same thing. These are cherry tomatoes. And we're gonna try to plant four of them at a time around and hope to have a lot of them for the salads. And if the farmer's markets ever fire up, we hope to have some to take to our local market and see if we can sell some to folks. But folks, that's my little, little farming video for this afternoon. Uh, as always, we'd like to thank y'all for watching. Hope you'll hit the like. Oh, I'm going in the shadows again. <laughs> Hope y'all hit the like and subscribe button. Please tell your friends. Uh, tickled to death every day just about we're picking up one subscriber or maybe every two or three days we're getting one and we're tickled to death for every one we get like I said we're trying to grow we're trying to add more gonna try to show a whole lot more and I want to get back into the water do some fishing this is normally my favorite time of the year to be out on the water but Life don't always work like you want to, so when we can, we're going to sneak off and do some fishing and show some other things just besides me knocking around the farm. But thank you all for watching. Please hit the like and subscribe. Tell your friends. And thank you to everybody that subscribed. And the good Lord willing, the creek don't rise. We'll see you all down the road. Thank you all.